Hi right, guys, it's uh, day 75. We're gonna have a quick look around the polytunnel. Uh, you can see I've put some stones on the top of all these, and these plants are slowly starting to come along. They're getting to like kind of bulking out a bit now. There's uh, some of them I need to still thin out, like this, this one here, and this one here. Here's my petrol cabbage. They are growing a bit. <laughs> so it's just blew across out just in the corner of my vision and uh, scared the crap out of me just there. So these ones here are the uh, um, are the broad beans. Um, I've not seen it. These, these have been in the in the ground for about two weeks now, and I've not seen any sort of movement at all. So what I might do is dig one of those up and have a quick look to see if it's even germinated. Uh, tail is doing well, you can see, it's getting nice and, uh, nice and big. And uh, the kale in the bin over here, I'm going to start pulling some of these up soon to thin them out a little bit. We've got more broad beans, these aren't really growing much. We've got the cabbages, these are doing quite well. You can see, getting, uh, getting nice and big. These are the pak choy. These are like a, a mix of different varieties. So they're doing okay. We've got these little potatoes, which I'm not sure what I'm doing with. I just put them in there to start, <laughs> to just to put them somewhere. They seem to be doing okay. And then we've got... This uh, is like a, a bit of onions, just like the bottom. There's four cut off bottoms of onion in there as a bit of an experiment. Other than uh, this one here, there doesn't seem to be any progress other than little bits of weeds. And then these are, for some reason, growing a lot slower than these ones. I'm not quite sure what the difference is there. Okay, so new additions. We've got, these are some garlic uh, bulbs that I rescued from the, uh, from the outside garden as I was clearing it out. Uh, I didn't realise these had actually survived through the winter and they were like underneath a big pile of weeds. So I grabbed them out and stuck them in some spare bags. So we'll see if they uh, if they do anything. The potato here doesn't seem to be doing a huge amount, but it has uh, it has got a lot bigger since uh, since last time we saw it. Get some more of those weeds out. Yeah. We got that. It's just a house plant. Not quite sure what it is, but <laughs> we shoved it in there. We've got the strawberries are looking okay. And then in the big bags here, and I'm going to move these today, uh, I've got some of the, the potatoes from storage. I basically stuck these in here. This is the soil mix I'm using for my potato towers. This is uh, a bit of compost, a bit of cocoa core, and a bit of straw all mixed up together with some sand. So that's what I'm using in the potato towers. And I just, uh, I've got, <coughs> this was the box of storage. I stored them in dry soil, and uh, some of these are still I'm going to eat, and some of, some of the smaller ones have, uh, have sprouted. I'm going to plant them up as I get spare space. So these are going to move over into the new grow bed, uh, into the new tray rather. And, uh, and this is what I want to show you. This is, uh, I just put together a test, like a trial run of the uh, potato tower experiments this year. Uh, basically, what we got is tires separated by spacers and these are just cracked up bits of tile and uh, I'm glad I actually did this one first because I've realized that I need to uh, use much more tile around the edge and as you can see in here what we've got is some little uh, uh, potatoes so there's four seed potatoes planted around each row so we've got 12 in there in total uh, and then it's just filled up with the same soil mixture. And that's quite loosely packed in and it's gradually subsiding as I've uh, um, put in uh, put in water. So that's basically that. Let's see if you can see. There's this one here which had like a long stalk on it to start with. And then as you can see we've got one in there. We've got one starting to sprout out the side just there. 
And then this, I need to put more spacers in basically because there's it's squishing uh, under the weight of the water. But there's more of them in there. Hopefully it should, uh, like the, the potatoes should be able to push through. And if not, then lesson learned. What I'm gonna do is for the actual experiment, this is just some spare potatoes that I've got. For the ones for the actual experiment, which are also gonna go in here, I'm gonna um, do much better spacing with them. Okay, we've got the fish tank. Obviously got all the tanks moved, so I'm gradually clearing up this area and clearing down that way. I need to put a post in for the electronics board here, or for the electrical board. We've got the rocket mass heater, and it's a bit warmer outside. Sometime this week I'm going to fire that up. Just using it as a place to store bits at the moment. Yeah. So at the moment I'm just water, like top watering that. Eventually this is going to get filled with a bit of water. And this, the frame around this has been levelled up so the bricks down here are actually keeping it. Uh, so the top of the frame is, is level with, uh, with like level rather than level with the ground. Yeah. The beetroot is still not really doing much. I'm not really sure about what's going on with that. Anyway, so what I've got in here, which I'm going to plant up this afternoon, I've got some garlic cloves, which are going to go in, medium bags, and I've got a load of these. These are marrow fat peas from my storage. I tried sprouting some of these the other day and they sprouted really well. So uh, I decided I'm going to try planting some and I've probably got about 50 or so in there. So I've made up a load of uh, a load more grow bags, some small ones and some big ones. We're going to move these big ones over into here with the potatoes. So we're going to have a shuffle around. Uh, we're going to move the big potato grow bags over here. Um, I'm going to get some more garlic and the marifat peas planted in. I'm going to quickly dig up one of these beans now just to make sure that it's uh, they've not all gone rotten or whatever. Uh, We'll have a bit of a, a look at that, but they seem to be taking a long time to germinate. Okay. Okay, so I just dug up one of these beans. As you can see, it's got a nice long tap root going on. So I'm going to bury this back in, and hopefully these should start breaking through the surface soon. But it has germinated, and it's uh, it's looking great. So I'm going to go and uh, bury that back now. Okay, so that's buried back in there. That's uh, a bit better. Hopefully we should start seeing these pop up soon but that's uh, making me feel a bit better about these. So, there we go, I got those three potato bags moved. Uh, there's plenty of worms and stuff that were uh, stuck in the bottom. I don't know if they're still around, but they've all gone hidden now. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right. There we go. So these guys seem to be swimming around, eating all the fish crap. They seem to be able to live underwater. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they absorb, uh, if anyone knows, I'd be interested to find out. Do they, do they absorb water, for, uh, oxygen through their, uh, through their outsides? I mean, they seem to be like, swimming around okay. 